Hey everybody, KC here. And as you can see, I am here with Michael Sansolo. And uh, this is actually the last morning news beat of August. Is it really? Uh, yes, I'm, wow. I'm gonna be taking off for a little time. I'll be back after Labor Day. And uh, Michael happened to be in town. We are actually right now at a place called Walter's Hot Dogs in Mamaroneck, New York. And the thing about Walter's Hot Dogs, and I've talked about it here on Morning News Beat, enjoy, I'll, I'll talk for a minute, you can eat, is that it, it, is, um, it is a mainstay in this community. And uh, it's a really great business lesson, because in fact, this coming weekend, they're gonna be celebrating their 105th anniversary. And this is a place that basically sells hot dogs, french fries, and drinks. Now they've, they've added a few things over the years, but they've never, they've never done hamburgers. They don't do relish. They don't do sauerkraut. It's really, really simple. It's the dog and, and mustard. It, yeah, right? And it's fantastic. And um, you know, the funny thing is, Michael went to high school just across the street, grew up about, what, a half a mile that way? Not even that way, maybe a quarter. I grew up about a mile that way. And uh, this is content, what guy went to went high to school, school with you right me. across the street. So we're connected to this place. Yeah. This is a great, this is just a, an amazing if place. If you take our blood, it's partially Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit of mustard in there. So anyway, the reason uh, we were gonna do this is Michael is actually just back from Europe and where he had a chance to spend some time going to the Olympics. Which was fabulous. And um, I thought, you know, this is morning news beat, so I have to ask the question. Business lessons from the Olympics. Now I'll eat my hot dog. All right, <laughs> eat your hot dog for a bit. Um, first of all, the Olympics are a great thing to see, and it's due to the work I do with Coca-Cola, but that's not that important to this part of the commentary. We're always talking on Morning News Beat about how do you make yourself stand out? How, do you, how are you special? You did a video recently about a stop and shop store in Boston that had no connection to Boston. And what was incredible about the Olympics this time was it was in Paris. Right. They made it about Paris. I was very lucky. I got to go to beach volleyball one day, and there were articles written about beach volleyball that it was possibly the single greatest sports venue ever created. Because you're watching the sport, and the Eiffel Tower is right here. That doesn't happen. They used the River Seine. They used all these highlights of Paris to make the Olympics Parisian. Right. And I think the lesson is, wherever you are operating, think about what makes that place special. What makes your store special, your products, your services? If you happen to be in Boston, you got to do, I mean, the Red Sox right. or Boston. You have like a green wall someplace in your store. You have people wear Boston Red Sox hats. If you're in Los Angeles, where the Olympics will be next, you do it with the Dodgers. Well, and it's interesting because, and I've never been to the Olympics, but I mean, it seems to me, you always read stories about how um, countries or cities get the Olympics and they build all these stadiums, they build these villages. And it's like they try to create something that while it may have some relationship to the community, they're building something new. And the one thing about Paris, as I understand it, is they used what existed. Yeah. Los Angeles has already said they're not going to build anything new. They have a lot of stadiums. Why and so they they're going to they're going to try and use what exists and even try and develop mass transit that will get people around. So, I mean, it's a great it is a great um, example of a business lesson where you got to use what you, you have, but you also have to be organic to the place that you are. Right. And too many, too many retailers aren't that. I mean, that was the point I made about the stop and shop. You had no, you had no idea if you were in Boston, Oklahoma City, or Boise. You and I have had this conversation. Right. You go into any Trader Joe's, and that Trader Joe's, and let's be honest, it is a national company. The Trader Joe's is always local. I live near Bethesda, Maryland. I go to a store in Bethesda, and each cash register has a street name of one of the streets in Bethesda that everybody knows. If you go to one in Los Angeles, it's a Los Angeles store. You, it's authentic, yeah. but it ties you to the community. And when, and I think you're right, what they did in Paris, they didn't create an artificial Olympic area. It was in Paris. Right. Now, the fact that they had people swim in the Seine, probably a <laughs> bit of a mistake because right. I wouldn't have jumped in the right. Seine. I, I walked by it. I actually had a boat tour of the Seine and frankly, don't swim in the Seine. There's a lot of stuff there that you shouldn't swim in. But using artworks in the Louvre, that's what makes Paris. Yeah. And with Los Angeles coming up, certainly they'll be able to tie in. There's so much in Los Angeles. Now, Kevin, as we discussed the Olympics though, I was looking at the venue and the events. You had a very different take on why these Olympics were so different 
and also provide an well, amazing business. Well, it was amazing, and I, I'll be honest, I didn't watch that much of the Olympics. I'm not an Olympics guy. I watched a few more events than I normally would, partially because I knew you were there, and partially it just seemed more interesting. But the way that NBC was able to use streaming, use various networks, and as opposed to kind of boiling everything down to three hours at the end of the day, to be able to allow people to watch what they wanted to watch on Peacock, by the way, inevitably driving up Peacock usership, mm -hmm. they're saying it could be a, a change in the way people view streaming. It could be the turn, in the, the, the turn at which point streaming becomes profitable. And Disney Plus, by the way, just became profitable. They're trying to figure out what the business model is. So again, it's really important to take advantage of what you have and as, a, as, a, as opposed to trying to make it like it always had been, embracing their opportunity to do other things. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's what, that, that's what retailers have to do. Uh, any other, any other, uh, well, what was the best? What was your favorite part? I'm just curious. Uh, favorite part, seeing beach volleyball. Yeah. I mean, I, that is a game. Frankly, if you had said to me, you're gonna see beach volleyball, right. I would've said, why? What a great sport. Yeah. 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 Obviously something I couldn't do, but for me, the best part was, when I was leaving Paris and I'm at Charles de Gaulle Airport, I got bumped into by this enormous man, like 6'5 and built, and he had a shirt on that said Poland in Polish. And I said, let me guess, you're here for the Olympics. He had won a bronze medal. And inexplicably- Did he show it to you? He took it out of his bag, handed it to me and said, I have to use the bathroom. Can you hold it for me? <laughs> oh Went my to God. the bathroom and I'm there. My wife was with me and she's like, how did that just happen? <laughs> And I do have a picture of me holding well, the we'll, medal. We'll put that below. Okay. <laughs> and that's amazing. With, it was, a, it was, they were a crew. It was a yeah. four-man crew. I met three of them. We don't know where the fourth guy went. It's extraordinary that, and, and sort of heartwarming that that kind of trust still exists in the world. Well, I, I figured afterward, if I tried to steal it, he was really big and strong. And, um, and probably faster I'm than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating well, hot dogs. Great stories. Great stories. I think the business lessons, as always, are, are, are there. Everybody should, uh, should sort of pay attention and, and, and adapt these kinds of ideas into their own businesses. Be special. Because, yeah, be unique. Yeah. Don't be like the other guy. Whatever you do, be special. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, anyway, uh, that's it for this last uh, FaceTime of, uh, of August. We'll be back after Labor Day. You'll be back with your column. Without hot dogs. We're going to have our hot dogs now. Have a great one, everybody. Thank you.